Diddy. You know it's bad when all of Coachella screams F you just because your name came up. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and this past weekend was the first weekend of Coachella, where a lot of big bands show up and they bring on special guests. Uh, Lana Del Rey headlined and brought out Billie Eilish. No Doubt reunited and brought out Olivia Rodrigo. Shakira showed up for Bizarrap. And Taylor Swift showed up to dance to Taylor Swift because Ice Spice was there. Anyway, uh, the big one that everyone's talking about was Kesha. Kesha showed up to join Renee Rapp on stage and she did her hit song, TikTok. Now, I want to go back and play this song. I, fair use. Here's the TikTok. I got to start and stop it, but... If you don't remember how the beginning of her hit, hit song TikTok goes, it goes like this. Here's the visuals too. Here she comes. Wake up in the morning. Waking up, wake up in the morning. Feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, girl? Feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, girl? Hey, what up, girl? That was actually P. Diddy on the track. So wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. That's what the song was. Now, she showed up uh, to Coachella this past weekend with Renee Rapp, and here's how they changed Together it. Together for Kesha! Here's Kesha. Tick tock. Damn, they not, they both went there with with the with the birds in the air like they just don't care. Uh, they were not going to support P. Diddy. <laughs> they were not going to do it. Uh, and so they went off and, and, and it, this wasn't just like some, oh, I got to be political. Like the song originally has P. Diddy in it. So she has to adjust it. Now, this wasn't the first time she's adjusted it. When Cassie won her, her lawsuit, and I'm going to go through, we also have the story of Diddy in the studio. Uh, when Cassie's lawsuit was um, settled, she actually changed the uh, song there when she was on tour. So this isn't actually n that new, but she didn't say F it. Here's what she did previously. Wake up in the morning feeling just like me. Get my glasses. Waking up in the morning feeling just like me was what the original edit was. So she did one where she just didn't want to have Diddy in the song. And she decided to waken up just like me instead of like P. Diddy. That's what it was. Now, it makes me, it made me interested. So I wanted to go back because, yes, she's previously changed this. This isn't the first time she's taken Diddy out. Uh, she now clearly is saying F. P. Diddy at Coachella. But it made me want to go back and like figure out, well, what what's the connections here between these artists? And I looked up Renee Rapp. She's a newer artist. And the only connection I could find to Diddy was her leaving a Diddy party ironically. Now, again, this was her and her girlfriend, I guess, leaving Diddy's Video Music Awards after party on September 13th last year. TikTok content creator slid into the DM, singer's DMs to ask when they were going out, and now they've been together for eight months. Uh, but that was the only sort of connection that she showed up to an after party that Diddy hosted, which doesn't mean that she's you know in cahoots with them. It just means they've partied before. She's been to a Diddy party, uh, and that's Renee Rapp. When we go back to Kesha, there are a few. I, I went back to the archives to find some. Uh, this is back from 2009 when it started. She dishes on her bizarre collaboration with Diddy. You ready for this? All right, here we go. She's having a moment. She got her uh, blah, blah, blah. But she's booked and she's now dealing with uh, Flo Rider, Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears. No wonder she ended up teaming with Diddy in the studio. Now, this is Diddy. It was still at a high, high fame level even in 2009. Diddy ended up in a tin TikTok because on the song TikTok, not the platform, because one morning I woke up surrounded by a bunch of hot babes. And I was like, I'm like Diddy, man, she told MTV News. Then I wrote the first line of TikTok, which is wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Now, that was confirmed later in an interview she also did to Entertainment Weekly. What inspired the Diddy reference? Wake up in the morning feel like P. Diddy. I used to live in this sort of castle in Laurel Canyon. I woke up one morning surrounded by all my hot babes, babe friends, because they had all crashed after a night out. And I woke up surrounded by babes. It was a total babe fest. And I thought this must be what Diddy feels like every morning. That was the first line of the song. And I took it in and Dr. Luke liked it. Now, don't get me started on Dr. Luke and Kesha. They they don't get along. Uh, but what's interesting here is, yeah, she clearly knew what a Diddy party is. She clearly knew as Kesha before it all has now come out. And now she's saying FP Diddy. 
She was enabling it. She was like, yeah, cool, I know. Yeah, look at all the hot babes around me. Oh man, this must be what it's like for P. Diddy. Now it doesn't mean she knew they were getting substanced, over substanced or spiked. I, I can't assume she knew that, but it is still weird. And I'm curious you guys think it is still weird and telling that she knew, oh yeah, Diddy's a guy who has a lot of just babes waking up around him. I mean, if they're all of the right age and that are consensually want to be there, then I guess, yeah. What's the harm? What's the harm? I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to hear more of your thoughts, but let's continue. Uh, she then made the next uh, the next logical step and, and, and talked to her producer, Dr. Luke, who was working with her and Flo Rider on the Right Round song, which definitely made her hugely famous. Uh, the rest is pop music history. As fate would have it, I swear to you, about four hours later, Diddy called Luke for the first time ever, saying we should do a song together sometime. Diddy surprisingly also had a little bit of time in his very busy schedule to drop by the studio almost immediately to contribute his lines to TikTok. In the song, he raps, hey, what's up, girl, and let's go. Uh, so he heard an opportunity to put himself on a track that was clearly a, a hot track, and yeah, he showed up. He's no dummy. He knows how to extend his brand and get a little bit of money on a track. Uh, he agreed to come in that day. It was so bizarre, but as fate would have it, uh, happened in the course of hours, we were all hanging out and I was so intimidated, but he was the nicest guy. So she did speak well of him at the time. Kesha's de debut album is due January 5th. So this was way in the beginning days. Now we know Kesha has come around about her feelings on the music industry, how she was taken advantage and, and et cetera. So take it all as you will. But uh, she did say she had the, you know, he was the nicest guy. That, and that's what most people say around him uh, back then. But then they also know, oh, this is, he wakes up around babes. How did she know that? How did, how did she know that's what Diddy, when you're, when I woke up around all my hot babes. This must be what Diddy feels like. Now, look, I knew Diddy partied, all these things, but I don't know. That, that's not, he's not the first person I would have associated with of waking up around babes. I mean, now it's like, ugh, when you think about it. But uh, I guess, I don't know. I would have thought of somebody maybe like a hotter. <laughs> Like a hot model or something. Leonardo DiCaprio, I would imagine, wakes up around hot babes. I don't know if Diddy would have been on the top of my list. Am I missing something? What do you guys think? I knew he was popular for his parties. Uh, and clearly, I'm sure I would have women at those parties. But yeah, why did Kesha feel like P. Diddy? Hmm, this must be what Diddy feels like every morning. Now, again, I, I start going into my own speculation, complete speculation warning. There it is again. I go into my speculation. It's like knowing the Dr. Luke allegations that Kesh has made. Did she, does she know more about Diddy? That's where I'm, that's where I'm wondering because she's called out Dr. Luke. Some people defend Dr. Luke. Um, I think Dr. Luke's made some weird choices. Uh, I will say that, but still does she know more than she's alluding? Is that what triggered this whole thing to begin with? Is that why they are, you know, calling out Diddy like they are? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm on the, I'm on the fence with this. I'm curious what you guys think. I want to hear your thoughts down below. We got lots more news to get to, but tell me your thoughts. Hit that button before you do anything. Hit that bell for alerts. Smash that like button and leave your comments. I wanted to give you the full Kesha round news, where she came from, all of it. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think she knows more? Do you think she's complicit? I want to hear your thoughts down below. We got so much more coming for you, so don't don't miss it. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet. Yeah.